Five, six years. Yeah. And typically the same, you're getting the same sort of size. Uh, it's before. too hard to say because okay. there's been so few of right. Yeah. Okay. And how long have you been stocking here just over the last couple of weeks? Uh, this is the first time this year here. Okay. Yeah. So we've been doing other sites around the lake. <laughs> Do you annually stock them here? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah, it's a good program. Yeah. Hi, Will. How are you? <laughs> Excellent. Good to see you again. So nice. we're out on uh, Lake Simcoe, Cooks Bay today. Uh, we had students from uh, Fleming out. They're uh, helping us stock some musky. So it's part of the Lake Simcoe Musky Restoration Project, where for the last five years we've been stocking musky back into Lake Simcoe, trying to uh, reestablish a native population of self-sustaining musky. So the hatchery has been uh, great at... Uh, uh, at Fleming to uh, rear the musky for us and uh, right now we've put in about 700 musky into uh, Cook's Bay. So we've been doing this for the last couple of weeks, different locations around Lake Simcoe in the hopes that one day we'll establish a wonderful recreational fishery again for anglers. All right, thank you very much. All right, thanks. Welcome. Excuse me. Yeah. So you're telling me that each fish is tagged? Yes. Each fish is tagged by the students That's right. before they're released. So students at Fleming College put a coated wire tag into each fish. Right, so right. if you catch one of those fish and you... Uh, you need a, a, um, a metal detector wand to actually find the tag. It's a right. very small, the coated wire tag is a very right. small piece of metal wire that's injected just right. under the cheek of the muskie. Right, so if you catch one right now, put it back. The, the muskie fishery on Lake Simcoe right now is closed, so right. you're not supposed to be targeting them, and if you do catch one accidentally, um, yes, it has to be, go back immediately into the water and you have to do everything you can to prevent it um, being injured or, or being killed by your, by your catching it. All right, thank you. Okay. If I was there, I have no Absolutely. Yes, both of them. You going to jump out? Sure, where your net got to, but you can use mine. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Maybe. Yeah, because that allows us to reach further into the reeds. I can go and grab it. Yeah, no, it's all right. I got it. Okay, you stay out of trouble in there. <laughs> no eating your friends. <laughs> They're probably stressed, so they won't even try. Or maybe that's when they do. I don't think they like people. I'm good, thanks. How are you? You're doing your little podcast? I am trying to. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, I'll leave this with you. There's a second batch of muskies going out to be stocked Cook's Bay. Leaving Cook's Bay Marina. Just about 12.30 Wednesday, October the 24th. You can see that there's a lot of minnows in the marina right now. If you look in the water, you can see lots and lots of minnows, shiners, emerald shiners in the water. Beautiful. You ever caught this many muskies in a day? Oh yeah. <laughs> a couple years ago we put in 1251. Nice. So what was your reaction on when you put them in the water? What happened? Um, put them really close to the weeds. They were reacting pretty good. They were uh, uh, going right into the weeds. But yeah, if you put them out a little ways, they seem to be a lot more docile. Right. So yeah, I think the key is to get them right into there. Right, right, in right the in. cover. Yeah. All right, thanks. I do. I hope so. Good. Yeah. Yeah, they're nice and bite-sized. Yeah. So this is your first time uh, putting the fish in? Yeah, first time with the muskie. I've done some Atlantic salmon work, but this is the first time taking the muskie out. Right. So it's pretty neat getting out there in the reeds and letting them go right there. Yep. Oh. Give them new homes. That's right. Yeah. All right. Big day for them. <laughs> <laughs> He's carrying them down to the water. There he goes. Put them in the boat, take them out. 400 total, 2,400 from Fleming College. and. Uh, Thousand from um, Blue Jay Creek uh, Fish Culture Station right. up in Manitoba. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's all going to Cooks Bay. All, 
not all those numbers, all around Lake Simcoe. All around Cooks Bay. Barnstable okay. Bay, uh, Cooks Bay, the Talbot Outlet, Morning Glory Swamp, south side of Georgina Island. So all around the lake. All around the lake. Nice. All right, thanks. Yep.